Okay, well, you're very welcome to the conference. If I may begin by asking you to tell us a bit about yourself and your position within uh, Malta. Hi, I am, I'm Khaled Brinkat, the CEO of the Malta Digital Innovation Authority, the MDIA, in brief, as the national authority which fosters trust in innovative technologies. And we also, we promote the optimum use of, of innovative technologies and we try also to facilitate, to facilitate such use um, in order to uh, Malta be at the forefront uh, in the use of blockchain, AI and other emerging technologies. Um, that's quite interesting in the sense of I know that Malta has always been seen as the hub when it came to blockchain and other things digital. Um, how do you think we have progressed in that area and do you think there's a, a bigger knowledge within local communities of how we're progressing? The fact that we've been the first to have a legal framework to regulate uh, DLT and blockchain, that puts us in a competitive advantage as a jurisdiction. Uh, in fact, uh, the European Union at the moment is discussing uh, the AI Act, um, which uh, is, is will most probably will be implemented in the coming year. Uh, the fact that we have already a certification program for the use of AI, that is very important for Malta. Um, besides that, uh, an important and interesting project is the European Digital Innovation Hub, EDIH. The EDIH is um, as an innovation hub, which will be, well, Mota will have one, which will be administered by the MDIA. There will be a network of the of digital innovation hubs around the European Union, and Mota will, will be having this one, which I'm mentioning now. And its uh, aim is to assist startups um, in testing before investing in their technologies. And the medical sector is very important here because most often um, the medical sector needs a lot of research before you embarking in, 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 a new, in new products related to um, innovative technologies such as AI. And the EDIH will assist not just in giving the space and the equipment to the startups, but also in um, mentoring and giving the technical expertise to these startups and not just startups but also to scale ups and other large players who might need to di diversify their their uh, portfolio. Um, so I, I am seeing the EDIH as a very important hub for, for Malta and especially for the uh, medical sector. Another thing of the DIH is that it will also provide high performance computing. We don't have a high performance computer. Actually, we do have one, but it's, it's in the University of Malta and it's quite old. Um, so we will be having a high performance computing, um, which will be uh, for the use of, of, again, of startups, entrepreneurs. And it is very important to crash data and to use it um, and to, to gather data and to use it um, especially in, in technologies such as AI. And how closely as an authority do you work with the educational sector? Because I presume it's, uh, it's an area which really needs a bit of investment and also for knowledge. Yeah, right. We have a very close relationship with the University of Malta. We have uh, quite some agreements and MOUs with the University of Malta. We, we have a scholarship uh, which we launch every year uh, for those who would like to study in, at master's level or at PhD in artificial intelligence or other innovative uh, technologies. Um, education is very important, um, so we are seeing also um, to start from the from the grassroots, from the also yes. the, the kids. And uh, in fact, next year we have a couple of projects, which I'm not in a position to announce for the time being, but for sure they will, they will be. And how important are conferences like this conference to Malta and getting the word out there? Uh, I've noted this is the first time for MDIA to participate in the MedTech conference. 
and I've noticed a lot of interest, um, not just from um, foreign counterparts, or, but also for, for Maltese um, professionals to know more about uh, innovation, innovative technology. Sometimes you are an expert in your sector, could be in med in medical sector, could be the technological people will be expert in the technological side. And the regulators such as, such as us uh, would be uh, expert in your role. So a conference like this uh, is very important because you have the three sectors which I just mentioned at one place and to network and discuss, uh, to work hand in hand for such, uh, for the benefit of the society of the role. And finally, uh, your own goals as someone leading this authority going forward, what are the main plans or your own main goals for the authority going forward? Our vision is to, as I said at the beginning, to foster trust in the use of innovative technology. So that is our vision. And to achieve that, um, we are working on a num number of projects which mainly um, addresses not just the medical sector but other different sectors um, to use more innovative technologies because such usage will finally uh, assist um, their their, 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 their their business. Well, thank you very much and uh, we're happy that you're involved and we hope to see you again in the coming months and years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.